What is up everyone, welcome back to Mainly Movies, the channel where we talk about, well, Mainly Movies. So welcome back to another trailer reviews video, I know I've only done a couple in the past, but a few trailers have come out recently that have kind of piqued my interest. One of them isn't so much a trailer, but you can gather by the title of this video, you'll know what it is. Anyway, let's start off with the very first one. The first one is an A24 film, which I'm wearing my A24 shirt right now, but the first one's an A24 film, and that is The Green Knight, starring Dev Patel, and this movie looks very interesting. Now, I watched the director's last film the other night for the first time, which was A Ghost Story, and it was an interesting film. It wasn't a overall an amazing film it does have some issues it's very 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 slow and it were and that works for in some scenes but in others it doesn't it is also a very depressing film it's not a film that is uh, joyful and, and lovely although the message is somewhat the message is somewhat okay but I just overall think that the movie was very slow and and tedious in some scenes but anyway this movie looks very different it has a very interesting stylistic approach with the visuals and some of the uh, special effects that we see in the trailer looks really interesting and now the thing about that the thing that I really like about this trailer is it does it, it piques my interest but it also doesn't show much that will give the whole movie away like the next trailer which I'll talk about. But Dev Patel has shown to be a very good actor before. I loved him in Lion and I feel like he can do a, a really good performance in this film. And it looks like an interesting film in some parts of the trailer. It looks like a survival film, I like him training to be this knight. And in other scenes it looks like he's like a, like a king or something. And it just looks really interesting and has a very strong and uh, interesting stylistic approach and that's what I'm looking forward to. And A24 hasn't really let me down with a film, although A Ghost Story was A24 and that's probably my least favourite, uh, or maybe Hot Summer Nights, I didn't really like that too much, I mean it was okay but it wasn't amazing. Anyway, this trailer looks pretty interesting and um, and yeah. Also the link in the description to all these trailers will be down there so you guys can see them. Anyway, the next trailer is the new Wes Anderson film. Now I'm not a massive Wes Anderson fan. I've seen Moonrise Kingdom, Isle of Dogs and Fantastic Mr. Fox and Grand Budapest. I've seen Bottle Rockets as well but I haven't seen Royal Tannenbaums or The Darjeeling Limited or Life Aquatic or whichever one else is out, Rushmore. I haven't seen any of those although they're ideally Wes Anderson and they're the movies that people think of when they think of Wes Anderson or they kind of think of his more animated films. But I really like Grand Budapest Hotel. I thought that was a very interesting and funny movie and the humour in that movie like hit hard. It was the best part about that movie. And this movie has that same sort of feel so I'm kind of looking forward to it. This film is also called The French Dispatch which I forgot to mention. But it also looks pretty good. The only thing that I didn't really like about this trailer is the fact that it feels like it's given a lot away. I feel like I've just watched like the whole first and second act of the film just by the trailer. It has an all-star cast. I mean it has Willem Dafoe, it has Edward Norton, it has Owen Wilson, Bill Murray, Timothy Chalamet is in it, Francis McDormand, and just heaps of other people. I'm leaving a whole bunch out. Leif Schwiber is in the film, and I believe that's how you pronounce his name. But there's just, it's just an endless cast of people, and I thought that it was done really well. And it still has that same sort of humour that the Grand Budapest Hotel has, and that's what I really like about this trailer. And I feel like everyone's going to give a very, very good performance in the film. That's all I can really say about the Friends Dispatch. Uh, it looks interesting but it just gives a little too much away in my opinion. Or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But I do remember there was rumours about this movie being four hours long, or they, they leaked uh, that the movie's going to be four hours long and then they said that's a mistake and it's only like an hour and fifty or two hours long, so I mean, I don't know why they did that, but... Anyway, the biggest news that everyone is raving on about is the new Batman, the Robert Pattinson Batman camera test that has uh, leaked. Now, for me, I'm not, uh, you know, when the Joker camera test came out and, and others, like, leaked information and um, all these, all this new information about all these superheroes. It never really excites me that much because, you know, I have to wait until I see a bit more so I can really get a full and strong opinion on it. But this camera test was kind of different. Well, first of all, it was 
it was really, really fucking awesome. I mean, like, the, the red uh, filter they had over it and the, the lighting, the red lighting just made it cool. The, the score in the trailer, I don't know if that's going to be like Batman's theme in the movie, but it was really good. It had kind of Danny Elfman vibes, and, and I really, really liked that. And as far as the actual suit goes, it has this homemade feel mixed with the uh, bat armor sort of feel that it, that uh, Nolan movie had, but also has some of like the more, like I said, homemade feel to it. The mask looks pretty good. The mask looks a little bit basic, but I don't, I mean, I don't really care. If this movie is the, uh, which I hope it's not, I hope this movie isn't the Batman as in the Batman Begins or the Batman Year One. I mean, I wouldn't mind Batman Year One, but I wouldn't, I don't want another Batman Begins. I've seen his origin story too many times and I don't really care for it that much, but I don't feel like they're going to do that. I feel like they might do a Batman Year One or they might even do like Batman's been Batman for a a long period of time. I feel like it's good that Robert Pattinson's doing this now. He, he's a bit older. If he did it back when he was doing Twilight, it would have been a little bit, you know, he would have been a bit too young and he wouldn't have suited the role as much as he does now. I mean, he was terrific in Good Time and he was fantastic in The Lighthouse and he's He's just doing these great roles at the moment, and I hope he really just, I hope he doesn't blow his load on this new Batman. I hope he just didn't choose this because he's kind of on a, on a streak of good movies, and I hope he didn't just want to do this because, you know, a, a cash, cash check. Matt Reeves, also the director, um, has done, from what I saw, he did the Planet of the Apes movies, and... Although they're good, but I looked at some of his other films um, that he's credited for and a lot of them just look kind of very B-grade. So I, I don't really know as much. I mean, War for the Planet of the Apes was amazing and it was probably my favourite movie in that franchise. But I still don't know yet. This is still very... I'm still very sceptical about this whole film and I, I want to see a... I, I honestly want to see a good Batman film. Um, I, I am sort of over a lot of the Marvel movies and I'm over like the new DC movies like the extended universe I think that's what they call it with Harley Quinn and all that new Birds of Prey and Aquaman and all that I'm sort of I'm, I'm really over that that's why I really like Joker because it was a single film about one character in a comic book in a, in a comic book universe but wasn't so overdone and, and overused and I feel like that's what they're going to do with this film and I hope that it ends up becoming sort of like that. And they're going back to basics, which is something that I really like. Anyway, guys, that's my review on the new trailers that uh, that piqued my interest. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these trailers and what trailers excite you for 2020. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. As always, the link in the description will lead you to my account on Letterboxd, as well as my Facebook page, and there will be links to these trailers down below. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to See you guys in the next video. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.